I'm Brandon Bonifer and you are on Focus and today we're learning about new developments in an investigation for a missing Zachary Voss. For the last couple days uh, we've been searching this area for uh, human remains. Uh, the investigation brought us this, to this area. Uh, information provided to investigators at our department along with Marshfield Police Department uh, brought us to uh, close proximity to where we're standing right now. And within the, the last day or so, um, some of our uh, detectives and investigators did locate some human remains. So at this time, we, uh, we brought in uh, quite a bit of other law enforcement officers from the area, um, Department of Criminal Investigation, um, Clark County Sheriff's Department, since we're on the county line. And uh, for the last several hours, we've been uh, you know, searching this area that you know, the initial human remains were found. Other uh, skeletal. Um, we did find some clothing as well and some personal belongings. Um, but this is part of the, the Zach Vasa uh, missing persons investigation. So uh, at this point we can confirm that there are skeletal remains that we've recovered. Um, we're still in the process of doing that. Um, so, um, and the, the other point, this is still an ongoing investigation. So um, there's still gonna be follow-up interviews that our investigators are going to be doing. Um, but today the focus is, uh, is re recovering the, the skeletal remains. Over the last year, you guys have done a number of investigations that have led you to a number of different places that you guys have done searches. What made this search different or unique, or how many times have you been in the area um, based off other tips? Yeah, we've, we've been in this area searching numerous times. We filed numerous uh, um, search warrants to, to search this property. Um, the reason why we've been here recently is information that came forward to our investigators that really pinpointed uh, an area that we should be particularly pay attention to. And as I mentioned before, once the, um, the snow melted, um, that helped us, uh, assisted us in the searching, and that's where we, we, we stayed and found some remains. Will today's search lead to new charges or additional arrests in the case? Potentially. Um, as I mentioned, this still is an ongoing investigation. So um, uh, potentially there could be some more charges coming forward. Obviously, you know, hopefully retrieving, like you said, the skeletal remains. How long does it take um, the identification process? What, what's the timeline look like for that? Um, I would think within the next few days, we should have a positive identification, but that's really up, uh, up to the process. Um, we've got people that are, are standing by with us right now that are assisting us with collecting the remains um, that could help us out with uh, identification. And then you, uh, you know, like you said, it's still ongoing investigation, mm -hmm. but you guys have reached out to the Vasa family. Can you tell us a little bit what the extent of that conversation was? I didn't do that personally. Um, the investigators that have been working this case did. Um, so I couldn't comment that, um, you know, on that conversation, but I can just tell you that they have been notified. With the number of people that you guys have out here today, can you identify like the number of people, the agencies that are out here and how large an area you've Kind of search through or comb through sure uh, again numerous numerous law enforcement agencies are out here clark county sheriff's department dci wood county sheriff's department marshfield police department other representatives from the state um, we're really focusing on an area that right now is at least probably approximately a quarter mile but that could change because all the remains are into one location so um, it, it's going to be a longer process to uh, to find everything um, being have the experience with this type of uh, situation. It could take a, a few more days or even longer to, to recover everything. 